Good afternoon, Pastor David. Hey, John. Welcome, everybody, to Unfiltered, A Random Moment with Pastor David. Uh, Tuesdays, we tease out the Wednesday study, and and Thursdays, we want to tease out Sunday study. And, and looking through your notes, Pastor, I was uh, looking at Jesus has just entered Jerusalem, and, and he's hungry. And he goes to a fig tree, and it said that the fig tree, having leaves, he went to see it, and there was no figs on there. So he cursed it. And then just in the next section or the next passage, uh, Jesus goes into Jerusalem and he goes into the temple. And it see, and, and it's, he begins to drive out those who sold in the temple. So the temple was full of hypocrisy. So we see a fig tree that has an appearance of fruit. We see a place of worship that has an appearance of worship, but inside was hypocrisy and, and it became a marketplace. How does this relate to the conditions of the heart of the inner man or even with Christians who have an appearance of having fruit but not and having a place our temple is the our, our body is the temple of God but yet it's full of hypocrisy how does that pastor describe the the heart of a man when they're playing Christian you know when the Lord and we'll look at this on Sunday obviously but when the Lord is approaching this fruit tree there were fruit trees at that time the fruit tree at that time could produce early fruit you know so jesus approaches it because there was a possibility that it could produce fruit there was an early fruit and it wasn't fully fully ripened yet and all so as he approaches it and and sees it has leaf but no fruit then he says let no fruit uh, grow on you again and so Israel is regarded in terms of um, images and symbols uh, is re uh, the fig tree is uh, regarded as a symbol of Israel and so it's one of the fruits that that um, that actually are make up the seven fruits um, that are used to uh, speak of Israel in the Old Testament and so this would be a picture of, of Jesus saying that there's an appearance in Israel of life when in fact it, it isn't producing the fruit that actually mm -hmm. is genuine or real. It only has the appearance. And so you tie that in with the temple. The temple is the meeting place of Israel with God. It's where God had stated, I will meet with you here. And uh, the temple is the place where worship was to occur in that personal way where sacrifices were offered and things of that nature. And so the fig tree as a symbol of Israel and the temple as a place of worship tied in together gives to us the, the understanding that Jesus is saying that you have an appearance of righteousness, but you don't uh, produce the fruit that demonstrates it. And so in the Pharisaic religious system during that time, they had the attributes of religion. They fasted and they prayed and they gave and you know, they met, they taught, and they did all of those things. They spoke out of the law. They gave their understandings of the traditions and everything. But Jesus is saying that you only have the appearance of producing fruit, but in fact, there is no fruit upon you. And for that reason, judgment will come upon you because they're about to reject. This is the final week of Jesus' ministry. They're about to reject Jesus as the Messiah. And so that's the cursing. That's what that symbolizes. And so we'll be take, you'll be taking you'll be taking us through a closer look at that, and how uh, it, it is interesting. His last week on ministry, and he's exposing yeah, this yeah. here, and and uh, even as an application that that can apply to us as well in terms of are we producing fruit, and is our temple a place that's offering true worship? Well, it's it's easy to have the appearance of righteousness, but to not to deny the power thereof, Paul would say, to have the outer attributes of somebody that could be regarded or looked at as being extremely religious. But in fact, uh, over time, the, the reality of the lack of faith is exposed. It's like Demas. Demas, who in 2 Timothy chapter 4, Paul speaks of, and he simply says of him that he has uh, forsaken me and having departed to Thessalonica. And so that's a good example of that because he was referred to in Philemon and Colossians as a fellow worker uh, of the Apostle Paul. And yet, uh, when you consider the qualifications 
of somebody who would have gone on mission journeys, um, that would have more than likely lined up at least um, at least in terms of the qualifications of a deacon in 1 Timothy 3, or even as far as uh, 1 Timothy 3, it could speak of the qualifications of a pastor. I mean, for a man to to be a missionary, to for a man to be on ministry trips with Paul, to be a close friend and fellow laborer, as he refers to him, and yet to depart and, and go back to Thessalonica, where he possibly originally came from, his hometown, that gives us the, 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 the picture, the illustration of somebody who would have been regarded as a true disciple of Christ, the way that the temple was regarded as a place to truly worship, or the way a fig tree is regarded as producing fruit for the person to be nourished from, which was the nation of Israel, and the nation of Israel through its religious system was revealing God um, to man. Well, in, in those things, you know, you, you see that it's possible to have an appearance of godliness, but to not have the power of godliness. And so we'll be looking at that this upcoming Sunday. And it's looking to be a good study. And so I want to invite you, invite, have you guys invite your friends and family to come out and join us. And, and as Pastor David's taken a look at uh, Acts, uh, Mark chapter 11, and it looks like it's going to be 12, 11 through... I had it written down, 11 through 8, 19, uh, I think. And so yeah. <laughs> I was looking at the notes. and so. But I want to invite you guys to come out and join us 8, 30, and 10, 45. And this Saturday, we have our men's conference. And men, even though you may not have bought a breakfast ticket, uh, you can still come to the conference uh, portion that starts at 9 a.m. And you can purchase your tickets at the gazebo or online and want to invite you guys to come out. We have Pastor David sharing, Jason Duff, and uh, one of our brothers will be sharing his testimony. So we look forward to having you guys out and look forward to having you guys out on Sunday to join us. And Pastor, thank you so much. And uh, thank you guys for tuning in. One last thing. We do have an Israel oh, trip yes. coming up. We got the the price yes. for it. It's uh, $43.89. That includes everything. It's a 12-day trip. And the dates are March. It's going to be March 9th through March 20th. Looking forward to it. Yes. Guys, got to come with us. God bless you. Thank you, Pastor David. All right.